Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a witchy collab with my wonderful friend Gabby from Gabby's Crafty Witch Life. So, let's get started. Hey guys, so today is a really special day. I am doing a collab with Gabby's Crafty Witch Life. So of course I'm going to link her channel in the description below. I did send her one of these uh, wooden pieces. But first, I want to share with you a quick happy mail that she sent me. So first, she gave me this beautiful card. Yeah, I sent her... Um, the same wooden piece the cauldron with the pilgrim little feet hanging out in the mail to her so anyway she gave me this gorgeous i love this bookmark very victorian it's beautiful and i have tons of brand new books and i cannot wait to use this bookmark so let's what do we do next so she sent me some of these very very pretty tags I'll have plenty. Christmas is a coming. Well, a little while. But anyway, I have so many tags for gifts and all kinds of stuff. So she gave me so many. Thank you so much. I love my happy mail. Okay, so those are all the tags. Let's put that to the side. And next, she sent me... Well, it's a piece of plastic. She sent me... These two beautiful Halloween molds. I believe she got them from BB Craft, I think. Um, but yeah, they are awesome. I love them. And I may, I will definitely, not may, but I will be uh, using some of these in this project today. I think it's very fitting. And I believe that I am actually going to use this mold because it is perfect for our project. So I'm going to um, do some UV resin today. And I will show you what I did after this. All right. So next, I believe she got these from BB Craft. These are these very, very, like, vintage-looking metal um, embellishments. I forgot exactly what they're called, but they're really, really pretty. And I know exactly how I am going to use them. I have this beautiful journal, and I love it. I love this butterfly. The are really gorgeous so thank you so much for these I'm really excited about these up next she sent me um, these are stickers with very nice um, you know sayings on them affirmations that type of stuff one day at a time. I think one says dream big. Very cute. I love that. I also can use those in, in, in my journal as well. And she gave me this very cute summer uh, decoration. I'm just going to put the card on top of that so the plastic doesn't shine and make a glare. All right. And the last thing. <clears throat> sorry. I'm still fighting this cold a little bit dragging on but these are some beautiful gabachons and jewelry pieces I can make I love this these are so beautiful I cannot wait to try these out so thank you so much Gabby for my beautiful happy mail so now we're gonna get started with the project and guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell Okay, I am back and I made some of these molds. I made some resin pieces. I use UV resin. I think they came out gorgeous. I absolutely love the way they came out. So this is some of the stuff I'm using. This beautiful deep green paint. This golden metallic. I'm going to do some pouring, some black paint. And of course I have my glue gun. And we're going to pick out some of these pieces. 
and I am definitely doing some pouring on the cauldron and then I am going to use my brushes by RC Farty Lovers um, on the rest of the wooden piece those beautiful brushes right there and we are going to glue these on and I'm really excited and I love the way they came out okay so we are going to start pouring I mixed up some green and black two different greens and black and we're just going to pour right over the cauldron and I'm just swinging that around throughout the whole cauldron I'm trying to control the paint a little bit so that way it doesn't get on the whole piece and that should be enough paint that is perfect and I love this combination of the green and the black so now we're going to start tilting the wooden piece and get this beautiful paint all over the cauldron. Just tapping it in, little spaces. I want to control the paint a little bit so it doesn't get all over. And it's working out just fine. I poured just enough paint. And after this is done, I'm going to let this dry and I am going to start painting the little pilgrim legs and feet and boots and then we're going to add our embellishments. I think they came out perfectly. Beautiful. I love the design. I think that is a gorgeous cauldron. So I am going to sit this back down and now I'm going to let it dry and come back and paint. All right, so I got my colors out, the black, the deep green, and the gold, taking these beautiful brushes, and I'm just going to quickly um, paint in the pilgrim legs, whoops, and as usual, I hit my camera, and you know, this paint will probably take about two to three coats. Just painting all the legs really quickly, getting around the boot there. And these brushes are really gorgeous. Thank you, Stacy from Artsy Fartsy Lovers for sending these to me. I use them all the time. All right, so I'm gonna, you know, let this dry, add a couple of coats. And now we're gonna get started with painting the boots, two to three coats, definitely. And while that's drying, we're going to start with the boots and paint them black. I'm going to just hold it so it stays steady. I don't have my usual setup today. I just put it on top of cups because this wood is pretty light. But I just want to hold it in my hand. So we're just finishing off painting this very cute pilgrim boot. Now I'm just going to get a smaller brush for the other uh, spots there and just quickly paint them. And then we're going to paint that buckle there, that beautiful uh, pearl metallic light gold. Just finishing it off. All right, let me get the gold paint and we're just going to paint this buckle. And everything's going to take at least two or three coats. I'm just going to let it dry. So now I'm going to go off and paint the other boot on my own and that I will come back. All right, guys, so this is fully painted, and my hands are filthy. I just finished painting everything. It definitely took two or three coats for the legs and the boots and the buckles, but I think it is gorgeous. And we are going to start adding the embellishments after this fully dries. All 
All right. So I added some things. As you can see, I added the orange stripes to the stockings of the pilgrim. I put the little rope back on and I painted in witch brew and I just placed really quick where I wanted the resin embellishments. I wanted to put witch's brew, but it didn't fit because I really wanted the witch head right in the center between witch and brew. So it came out great. And I used this very pretty um, purple metallic paint. And that is, it actually says a book of spells. It is a book of shadows. I'm going to put that right there. And of course, this glue just makes a lot of those glue strings, but we will clean that up afterwards. I'm putting that crystal ball right in the center on the bottom. And we're going to take the witch's broom right in that upper corner there, upper right corner put it right there perfect we're gonna glue down this little guy little frog and we're gonna put the witch's hat right there so let's just take off all of these glue strings that are quite annoying pain in the butt trying to grab it there guys all right well I'm gonna clean the rest of that off off camera trying to get the rest of them off and there I'm gonna clean it off but there it is so far I am so happy with it it is so adorable and I love my witch's cauldron so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much to Gabby from Gabby's Crafty Witch Life. Please go and check out her channel if you already, if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching today. I appreciate you and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you in the next one. Bye.